How's it going guys, Jack Bing here and I'm back with another tutorial and this one is a super simple concept but something I've seen people doing heaps recently. I don't know why it's kind of uh, come into fashion or whatever at the moment but basically it's how to create a dripping text effect. So let's just make something with the text tool right there. Uh, how, uh, caps, how to make dripping text. And then we'll just make it look, look a little bit nice. There we go. Center it up. And okay, we've got our text. That's literally just the text layer there. Uh, now, earlier on, I have already gone and basically, if you just Google something along the lines of drips or drip vector or um, yeah, just something like drip, anything drip related, then you'll get something that kind of looks like this. And I'll put it in front. There it is. Uh, now, what we're going to do here is basically find the kind of style that we want. So you've got these kind of, we'll, we'll use a mix for this, okay? We'll do a couple of different ones, but really, we'll basically just choose a couple of little sections here, add them into the text, and uh, you get the effect straight away. So I like uh, this one over here first. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to cut it out. Uh, I'm just going to use the polygon lasso tool, cut that out there, and I'm creating a new layer via cut, so I can get rid of it and just be left with that. Now for this, I'm just going to uh, hold shift, make it a little bit smaller and just throw it in there. And I'll show you straight away. All we're going to do is I'm just going to put it behind the text so it's like that. And I'm literally just going to change it to white. And there it is. Now I'll continue on, but basically you've watched the tutorial already. But I'll continue on to basically give it a bit of an effect and see where we end up with it. Um, so, I'll, I like this one too. I'll actually uh, grab a bit of this. I don't want the whole thing, but I'll like to take a few drips out of it. New layer via cut, that's just a right click and you just grab it. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and oh, a bit bigger than that actually. And I think I'm going to put it over here on the D because it kind of is similar to this G one over here, but it's basically just like a little bit, it's just a slightly different version. So again, I'll put it there and I will Change the color to white. So I just come up with a new idea and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these three layers and I'm going to put them into a group. So what I can do with the group is I can actually put the white color overlay already on it and that way anything I throw into this folder here, which I'll call drips, so anything I throw in there will become white instantly. So I'll grab a couple of these kind of uh, not as large ones here, um, just using the square selection tool. Um, copy that. Get rid of this and I'll show you a different effect here. Um, I'm going to make it a bit smaller and now I'm pretty much just going to zoom in here and anywhere I'll, I'll make the opacity a bit less, a bit more transparent and anywhere where there isn't any text I'm just going to delete it. And I can bring the opacity back up, throw it in the drips folder and you get that effect straight away. So, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, find the drips that you want, find the different effects that you want, and uh, just mess around with it, play around with it. Uh, it's an effect that heaps of people have been using recently, so not even, I don't really know why, but it looks kind of cool. It's a cool effect. So there you go, guys. If you learned something today, if you liked the video, then press the subscribe button, uh, join the fam, and yeah, I'm gonna bring out a video like this at least once a week, sometimes more, often more, actually. And if you have any ideas, feel free to comment. Um, let me know down below. I love doing the videos that you guys suggest, so definitely get onto that. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.